Today we're visiting with big game biologist Bill Jensen and we're going to talk about the two deer species we have here in North Dakota. I'm Mike Anderson with the North Dakota Game and Fish Department. Bill, we have two species of deer in North Dakota. Explain the two. Well, the white-tailed deer has a big white tail uh, that it uses as a flag for signaling family members of danger. The mule deer has large ears like a mule and uh, pretty distinctive and, and uh, that's where they, the names came from. Bill, if you're a new hunter, a new deer hunter in North Dakota, and you draw a muley tag or a, a white-tailed deer tag. Let's go over some of the characteristics. Let's start with antlers. Once uh, a buck gets to a two and a half years old, uh, it's, it's more distinctive. Uh, younger animals tend to have uh, just spikes or, or two points on a side. But uh, adults uh, with the mule deer, they're, they're they split or bifurcated, and then they split again to, to make uh, uh, four points on a side. Whereas uh, it, with a white-tailed deer, the, the beam goes up, spreads out, and then curves forward with tines uh, coming out from the top, uh, generally. And uh, so the, the antlers are, are pretty distinctive, and that, that's what a lot of people cue in on. Uh, other characteristics, as was mentioned, you know, the white tail has a big white tail. Uh, the tail on a mule deer is slim and, and almost rope-like with a black tip, but it has a, a large white uh, butt for uh, signaling. So when you say signaling uh, for danger, you said the white yeah. tail like flags the, yeah. the white tail for danger, yeah. and the mule deer just has that big what, white butt for to signal to it other family members that, you know, you know, this is what to key in on. Okay, are they both about the same size? Yeah, uh, the, uh, an adult buck averages uh, about 170 pounds. Uh, a, adult doe will average uh, 120 to 130 pounds. Uh, but they're, they're like people, you know, there's all different sizes of deer and you can have a, a buck that's 120 pounds or, you know, they could go up to 300 pounds or more. Okay, how about the color? The color is, is pretty much the same. Uh, mule deer tend to be a little grayer uh, in color, uh, particularly around the head and neck. Top of the back, uh, but they, you know, they both have uh, a lighter underside, white belly. Bill, let's go over the habitat each species requires. Let's start with mule deer. Um, mule deer evolved in the western uh, United States or continent, part of North America, um, and uh, they primarily inhabited uh, rougher terrain. Uh, the Badlands type habitat or, or into the mountains. Uh, whereas whitetail uh, evolved in uh, the eastern forests uh, and take advantage of, of the hiding cover of, of uh, forested habitat. On the prairie, they, they, they tend to do best in uh, river systems, in forested river systems. And it's not unusual to see male deer in the eastern half of the state as well. It's, there's a gradient from uh, west to east. Uh, the, in the core of the Badlands, it's like 95% mule deer, uh, some whitetail. Uh, as you go east, it, it progressively uh, gradates out to, uh, you know, five or 10% on, on the uh, Missouri Koto and, and Drift Prairie, they 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 do not extend really into the, the Red River Valley though. Bill, let's talk about some of the habitat loss, especially for the white-tailed deer. Uh, well, you know, with uh, large production agriculture and commodity prices, uh, 
the larger machinery uh, being used, a, a lot of the tree rows have been uh, taken out in the eastern part of the state. Additionally, uh, the a lot of wetlands have, have been drained and, and uh, consolidated. Those two habitats provide a lot of uh, cover for uh, fawning areas, and with the loss of that, um, it's we've seen decreases in uh, white-tailed deer numbers, particularly with the loss of uh, CRP acres. And a lot of that is winter cover as well. Uh, cattails are very important winter cover f for uh, white-tailed deer. Okay, Bill, let's move into uh, one thing I always remember when I first started uh, hunting was the way like mule deer run or hop or whatever you want to call it. Explain like the differences in how they move. Well, uh, as you mentioned, the mule deer have this, this bouncing gait. It's called stodding. It's, it's a Scottish term for bounce. Uh, and uh, w when alarmed, uh, th they will often uh, run with that gait. Uh, White-tailed deer uh, tend to, uh, when surprised, they have an all-out run. They're, they're just bolting out of cover. Okay, and mating season is when? Uh, the, the rut is a, a process, it's, it's starting now in October. It peaks in um, mid-November and then gradually tapers off and ends in uh, late December. So real briefly, if I'm new to hunting and I want to know the difference between two species, what do I look for? Look for the head for the ears. Uh, the white tail will have much smaller ears. Um, then uh, can be less um, distinctive, uh, but the antlers on the buck, uh, and then you know the tail. Um, note whether that it has a big white tail and it's, it's a white tail or um, a slim ropey type tail with a black tip, that'd be a mule deer. A lot of great information, Bill. Thank you.